not here to convince you that we deserve freedom because we are entitled to freedom. I'm here, thank you, I'm here to say how angry, how frustrated, how disappointed, and how unsurprised I am that we've been here since this morning and we barely heard any conversation about detainees. We barely heard any conversation about normalization. And most importantly, we barely heard any conversation about a political solution. How come, thank you, how come that any of us here believe genuinely that an early recovery for Syria could be possible while Assad is still in power? Are we just here to waste our time? I've been here second time we've been here for 12 years we've been you know you've been exhausting our traumas you've been exhausting our pain you've been exhausting our stories and for what nothing has changed i'm sorry i'm not sorry for anyone i know that many of us have been you know i appreciate the work that many of us have been doing but it's not enough. Assad is the main perpetrator is in this country. And Assad is the reason that I had to flee the country, but Assad was enabled by this entity and by many other states. So let's not pretend that we all care about the recovery of Syria or the humanitarian aid for Syria. Let's start by naming, unfortunately, after 12 years, I have to emphasize that we all know who did it. We all know that Assad is still in power. He is still committing crimes against the humanity. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of detainees, not only those inside detention centers. We're talking about people being detained now while we speak here today by the same person who's being welcomed in Jeddah and who as Noura said, we know that we, he, will, he might be welcomed here one day. So I think we need to start by, you know, just talking the truth and not fooling each other.